Hello my friends. We are happy to provide you with information about some common types of cancer that occur in dogs. Please remember this list is not exhaustive. So if you know or suspect that your dog has cancer, it is important to talk with a veterinary oncologist. Here are some of the different types of cancer that can affect dogs. Number 1. Breast cancer. Just like in humans, this type of cancer involves tumors of the mammary glands. In dogs, there are 10 mammary glands that extend from the chest to the abdominal wall in rows of two. Tumors can develop in any of these glands. However, they're more commonly found in the two seats closest to the hind legs. Older female dogs are at higher risk of developing mammary tumors, particularly those that are unspayed or were spayed after. Number 2. Bone tumors. Bone cancer in dogs usually arises within one of the limbs. The most common breeds affected by bone cancer are large to giant breed dogs. Warning signs of this tumor include lameness and swelling at the site of the cancer. To confirm the diagnosis, X-rays of the affected bone are often followed by a fine needle aspirate of the tumor. At times, a biopsy of the tumor is also necessary for diagnosis. Because osteosarcoma tends to spread to the lungs early in the course of the disease, chest X-rays or a CT scan of the chest is also recommended, along with some basic blood tests, before decisions are made about treatment options. Number 3. Melanoma. A common form of skin cancer in dogs. Melanoma involves tumors that originate from melanocytes, which are the skin cells responsible for producing pigment in nails, skin, and eyes. Although most commonly found is masses or lumps on the skin, these tumors have a high tendency to spread and can affect different parts of the body. They also have a tendency to bleed as they continue growing. Melanoma can affect dogs of any breed, but is more commonly seen in chow chows, cocker spaniels, poodles, and schnauzers. Number 4. Liver cancer. Liver cancer can be a silent killer in dogs because obvious clinical signs are not always apparent. This type of cancer is caused by several different types of malignant tumors. However, it usually involves a single, large tumor called hepatocellular carcinoma. This tumor is localized in the liver and does not commonly spread to other parts of the body. Liver cancer can affect any breed and usually affects older dogs, although it has been known to occur in younger dogs. Number 5. Mast cell tumors. Mast cell tumors are the most common canine skin tumor we treat. These tumors most commonly arise on or just below the skin in dogs, although they do occasionally arise inside the chest or abdominal cavities. Warning signs of a mast cell tumor include a persistent swelling on or under the skin. These tumors are usually not painful. Diagnosis of a mast cell tumor is usually achieved by taking a sample from the swelling using a small needle, fine needle aspirate. The sample is spread onto a microscope slide and examined by a pathologist for confirmation of the disease. Once diagnosed, the oncology team may recommend different tests to determine whether the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Number 6. Liver cancer. Liver cancer can be a silent killer in dogs because obvious clinical signs are not always apparent. This type of cancer is caused by several different types of malignant tumors. However, it usually involves a single, large tumor called hepatocellular carcinoma. This tumor is localized in the liver and does not commonly spread to other parts of the body. Liver cancer can affect any breed and usually affects older dogs, although it has been known to occur in younger dogs. Number 8. Stomach cancer. Stomach cancer is not one of the most common types of canine cancer, but it can be one of the most devastating. This type of cancer generally shows no symptoms until it has already progressed to advanced stages. Several different types of tumors are associated with stomach cancer in dogs, most of which are malignant and may spread to other parts of the body. This type of canine cancer is most commonly found in older male dogs. Breeds known to be predisposed to this type of cancer include the Rough Collie, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Belgian Shepherd Dog. Number 9. Testicular Cancer. This form of cancer affects male dogs and involves tumors that form on the testicles. Testicular tumors most commonly affect intact, unneutered, dogs over the age of 10. However, they can affect intact dogs of any age, particularly those with undescended testicles. 
a condition known as cryptorchidism. Breeds known to be predisposed to the condition include Afghan Hound, Boxer, Collies, German Shepherd, Maltese, Shetland Sheepdog, and Weimaraner. Number 10. Thyroid Cancer. This type of cancer involves tumors that affect the thyroid. A gland in the neck responsible for releasing important hormones that regulate metabolism and help control major functions of the body. Thyroid tumors are almost always malignant and often spread to the lungs and lymph nodes they can also invade nearby structures such as the windpipe, blood vessels, and esophagus. Fortunately, thyroid cancer is relatively uncommon in dogs. However, beetles, boxers, and golden retrievers between the ages of 9 and 11 are known to be at higher risk. Early detection is key to treating cancer in pets, so knowing how to recognize the warning signs is an important first step for pet owners. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.